What's up my toxic gamers coming at you with an emergency video today we got a lot of stories at our hands like and subscribe if you're brand new I will keep you in the loops because our first story is about this apparently there's a bull on New Jersey train tracks I mean where is Rockstar Games? Where is Rockstar Games when you need a mini Rockstar Games to put this circuit live in GTA 6? But guys, the following story is absolutely wild. It's uh, needless to say, it's wilder than Johnny Sins movies. I mean, literally, okay? Hide your kids, hide your wives, guys. This is apparently gaming. Everybody's talking about it. We're gonna talk about GTA 6 because a dev also came out, so stick around for that. But Twitch will now allow artistic bombs and vagina oh, shit. Oh, following the <laughs> topless meta uh, and this chick is going around i mean the seconds are passing this chick like uh, they were passing tic tacs in public bathroom and a lot of seconds are actually doing a lot of research right now like everybody's like trying to do research and i also brought in my research paper as well and uh, needless to say uh, the story is kind of wild and i gotta say we must stay focused brothers we absolutely must stay focused and twitch apparently gaming website right twitch has updated their <laughs> content policy changes to certain content now allowed with labels and artistic <laughs> permitted under theme labels there will be also game apparently contact i cannot say certain words on youtube labels are gonna be necessary and the type of labels they're probably talking about are like hey man if you're a man and you whoop out your bbc you whoop out your your bwc it is over you're gonna be Bruh. sent to another dimension but if you're a female it it is fine though you can show your bobs again you can do the only fans content twitch has literally literally turned into like softcore i mean circus have been saying like it has turned into softcore for a while now but but it has fully now twerking grinding and pole dancing are now allowed oh, shit. Oh, without a label i mean darn like young sick is really out there doing that shiz and they actually put out this popular dancey shitty twerking grinding and pole dancing are now allowed and everybody went into coma right now like sick is dropping the mouse uh opera gx saying twitch right now uh twitch is so finished what happened to shame carrot top out there setting trends and changing policy only fans model after going to twitch to make money off of artistic i mean damn bro these things are hiding behind artistic one guy actually put out this meme i mean where are the lies i gotta ask right this is a uh, strong empowering you are just manipulating your men and you're always wrong and then you have this man uh, put on a shirt second that's basically Bruh. what's happening i mean where are the lies as men gold also came out says that twitch isn't and has never been a safe space for underage people as men gold believes twitch new content policies are w everybody everybody clap it up boys clap it up twitch policies are a w as men gold says and listen i love the homie okay i love the i love the i love i love the i love the homie okay i love the I love the homie Asman Gold, but Brad, this ain't it, dog. Say you swear to God. Say you swear to God. And everybody's flaming the guy Twitch in 2024. Uh, then you should have always been 18 plus. And let's be real, right? Like, how many times you have signed up and you put your age 18 plus? Man, I was 13 years old and I was always telling uh, everybody on the internet that I was 18. Whenever they would ask, I would be like, uh, eh, eh, eh. I am 18 plus, okay? Bruh. I am 18 plus. We've all done it. Let's not even lie, guys. Like and subscribe if you've done that. Damn, son. And guys, this is one of those videos. Check it out. So she responded. Roll it. I ban. One of the reasons they listed was uh, a lap dance. I'm the only one here. So I'm not really sure how I could have given anybody a lap dance. Um, but that was one of the reasons they listed in the ban that I received. So I think, honestly, they are just cracking down on this new meta yeah. um and their toss is very open-ended so they're not giving anyone you know no one nobody's breaking toss nobody is breaking the terms of service me standing here like this it's just shoulders and by the way i am wearing a shirt i do <laughs> wow. wear a shirt and pants yeah guys we must Lord, stay have focused, mercy. man we must, we stay, must focused. stay focused brothers <laughs> take your right hand 
take your left hand before we dive into the next like gaming story this is way too much gaming okay take your both hands put it together send a prayer out lord please forgive me for my sins okay repent now ladies and gentlemen we live in the end times also in some good gaming news because a lot of suckers are loving that god of war dlc right it came out it is free suckers are loving it obviously you need to have the game but now god of war ragnarok senior writer teases more story coming after the Valhalla DLC. He states that you really think the credits are the end of the story? Come on, come on now. I don't think we're gonna necessarily get another DLC. That, that, that just doesn't feel real to me, right? I feel like that he's talking about the next game and maybe in the next game, they're gonna continue God of War Ragnarok part two. Oh shit, oh, maybe? But I, I, I really need a new story though. I really need a new story. But regardless, man, this is absolutely insane that they drop a full blown DLC because initially I thought it was just gonna be like some challenges, some like smaller, maybe one or two mission here and there, but it's apparently like a real DLC. DLC and it's free which is absolutely a shocker but guys you wanna you wanna be shocked well sit for this one buckos I know that Lara Croft gameplay y'all be loving that Lara Croft gameplay stay focused like and subscribe if you've been loving that gameplay but check this out break it Rockstar Games and Netflix have released Grand Theft Auto the trilogy the defective edition on mobile, oh, shit. Oh, shit. On mobile. and the wildest thing here is that Nobody is mad. I refuse to believe that bro. I refuse to believe that everybody's loving this second right now because the reason the entire reason nobody's mad by this and everybody's like praising it everybody's like yeah FBI Rockstar games you do you kings we love you brothers we love you like dudes uh, the reason is because they actually revealed the GTA 6 trailer so now nobody cares everybody's like yes man it is happening give us the defective edition we don't care and personally I want to see that GTA 4 uh, remaster edition come on now guys like not not defective though. I know y'all suckers love defective edition y'all suckers want to be memeing y'all Y'all suckers wanna be uh, ripping a n soul. Y'all suckers wanna be going in gang gang. Y'all suckers definitely wanna be. You you need some sauce. You need some drama. I get it. I need that too, guys. But sometimes we need. We also need some good games. And speaking of that, former Rockstar dev, explain why GTA 6 PC port takes longer to release than consoles. Roll People it. are so antsy for the PC port. They want it right now. It's hard to do that as a developer because the team isn't big enough. If they had a huge team, they'd just have one team work on the PC, one team work on the Xbox, and the whole time they'd be trying to optimize all three kind of at the same time, right? But it just doesn't work that way. I mean, what do you mean, bro? Rockstar Games is the most money-making company on the planet Earth, bro. They make the most amount of money, right? Like, they they, they, they got billions of dollars. Uh, they also have GTA 5 making them billions of dollars every single quarter. They have GTA Plus right now. They also got uh, GTA Online. They also have uh, Lucia Burna coming out in GTA 6 as well. <laughs> What do you mean, my guy? What do you mean, bro? We don't have the money, we don't have the resources, we don't have the manpower. And so we kind of just prioritize what's best for the company's like money, right? What's gonna sell best? Well, most likely it's the PlayStation. So let's put all our energy into the PlayStation and then the Xbox and then the PC. Ding, ding, ding. Translation. What he's trying to say here is that Rockstar Games, they love to actually put out games first on PlayStation and Xbox. So people buy it there. I mean, GT in a nutshell is a console seller, right? They want suckers to buy the game on PS5. Xbox Series X and then buy it once again on the PC thus boosting the sales and then this thing is gonna remaster on PlayStation 6 PlayStation 7 and they know everybody's gonna buy it they know everybody's gonna buy it this thing is might as well gonna be dropping a 60 FPS patch you know that's gonna happen guys but also GTA 6 map this has been made uh, by a fan obviously this is a fan made map guys but most probably the actual map is gonna be like this because this has been made uh, by the real Miami map obviously the gameplay leaks as well and the GTA 6 trailer that we ended up getting you know we had some shots and suckers have combined all of that suckers have done their research we had the reddit detectives the twitter detectives they have made this map okay and we have seen the key west area dead ass in the trailer so this might actually be how the map looks like at the end with these real life locations but obviously Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit different or maybe a lot different but and also check this out guys so the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 free trial is live now on all platforms one if you're gonna try out two if you're not gonna try out Winterfest is back for 2023 
And you can now hide from Krampus, launch your snowballs, and claim gifts just for showing up. I mean, looking kind of hype. I mean, everybody's excited right now. Sega's doing helicopters right now, and uh, we're getting a winter DLC for Fortnite, which is absolutely wild. And the wildest story, this is by far the craziest story, okay? So we're now hearing, guys... Sit down. Season 7 for Battlefield 2042 will be in your hands in March. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't even get it, bro! Like, Season 7 coming out in March? I thought this game was Danzo, and Suckers are going in, Suckers are praising the game, and this is not even the wildest thing, guys! They apparently- We have Slushy? Slushy says that we will not be playing- I mean, come Bruh. on, dog! Like, whoa! <sighs> Whoa, dude, now this makes a whole lot of sense. Guys, check this out, all right? You're not gonna believe this. So Slushy says we will not be playing. We can all agree a little bit of that negative post, right? Just, just a little bit of negative. This is like a toxic gamer post right there. But then you actually click on, you know, this is a beautiful thing called hidden replies over on Twitter. You click on that and guess what? This is what you find. Let's F and go. Wait, what? Like, that's not even a toxic gamer post that's this guy is praising the game another guy says that hell yeah uh holy shies uh f yeah then you have why are you guys hiding replies praising the game and his reply was also finetto Bombaka. Denzel Gonzo. his reply was also hidden so you're telling me slushy slushy replies is visible where's slushy let me find so you're saying slushy reply is visible but sigas that are praising the game they are not visible i mean damn I, I just cannot compute that guys and recently we had that playstation 5 pro 8k gameplay leaking out we had the day before Bruh. debacle click on this video on the screen on the left though we had some gta 6 gameplay leaks going around you know check both of these videos out guys and i will see you right there